It started as an idea from a friend, then became a tweet, and thousands of orders later, Deontay Shivers says he has no plans of slowing down. Scrolling through social media may be how some pass time, but for one Falcon, it was enough to give his business wings. Would you support this? Insert Bowling Green State University alumni Deontay Shivers. I actually tweeted out um, on the 24th on Twitter. I made like a sample menu and everything and asked people around the area would they support it. With his last $47, the cook started Trigga Meals in July 2016. A friend gave him the idea. My mom had just passed in March 2016, and um, I was just doing bad financially. He looked at it as a way to try to bring in some income and everything. Though reluctant at first, Shiver says the idea took off. I remember the very first day, I probably had between like 20 and 30 orders. He started by cooking in his apartment. I did chicken fried rice and steak fried rice. But as business grew, so did his need for space, the cook finding a home at local bar Ziggy's. The chef says he has been able to use social media sites such as Instagram and Twitter to draw in clientele. I mean, it's like a home cooked meal and you don't even have to leave college for it. Starting off with something so small in his story is just you people like that. You just want to see them do good. Shivers is certified to cook in the state of Ohio and is in the process of getting his LLC. But that's not his only plan. I want a food truck. Um, that's, that's my biggest goal. And if his thousands of Twitter followers are any indication, he just might have a shot. People telling me, you know, come here, come here. For other entrepreneurs, other people with a simple idea, maybe even a tweet of their own, he has a message. As long as your heart is in it, you know, your intentions are pure, I just say go for you. Now Shivers does plan to take trigger meals on the road. He's planning a traveling food tour across college campuses in Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. Best of luck to him. Reporting in Bowling Green, Toy Creel, NBC 24 News.